okay now it is working correctly it is, we don't have any error so let me go to the drawer menu now here and add some menus to our uh, drawer menu so we have this menu here and I'm gonna add few items inside this one is for home home button I'll give the ID as home and I I'm gonna give some icon for this so I don't have any icon currently I'm gonna go to the drawable and using the vector asset I, I can create few so let me create uh, one or two menu icon for that so let me just use home finish similarly I am gonna create one more icon okay I'm gonna just use few icon okay just use this group add so finished so now I can set the icon using this icon option here and similarly I'm gonna add one more button here that is for the another activity that I'm gonna open but let me just say group uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna say another let's just say another menu right and I'm gonna give ideas another and select the icon okay and just like that we have created this menu but if you remember the demo application that i have shown you guys there i have made the group wise menus okay so i have made i had made collection of menus for with title and we had like two groups of collection uh, two collection of menus so to do that I'm, i need to go to the text of this uh, menu and here i need a root menu and inside this i can start creating items okay and this item will have the title so android title and this title will be displayed as the title of the that particular collection of menus so i'm gonna say general and you can see in the preview that it is displaying there and now inside this menu i'm gonna add the uh, i'm gonna create one more menus here so let me create one more menu and i'm gonna paste it there so similarly I can also use groups uh, tag here but that's not really necessary so similarly uh, it is giving me error so I'm gonna change this to one okay so this is the menu that we have let me change this to some other communication okay now let's go to the main activity and implement this drawer menu properly okay the first variable I need is a drawer layout right because I need to handle the drawer layout and second is action bar toggle and I'm gonna say action bar toggle I also need the toolbar variable here because we are using the custom toolbar okay so I'm gonna go ahead and set the XML resources for these variables inside our on create so drawer layout find view id r dot id and the drawer for drawer for toolbar i'm gonna set the toolbar just after this find toolbar now i need to use this toolbar variable to set the toolbar of our main activity so i can do that using set support action bar method and in the, there i can pass the toolbar but you can notice that i'm getting some error here and it says that android.widget the toolbar is not compatible or cannot be applied that means uh, while i was creating this toolbar variable uh, if uh, i uh, selected the wrong type of toolbar so we need android x app compared dot widget toolbar okay so you need to remember that so let me remove the unused imports okay now it is the error is gone now and similarly I'm gonna create the variable for navigation view as well navigation view right navigation view and I'm gonna get the XML resources for that as well okay 
now I'll implement the action bar toggle here so toggle actually action bar toggle equals to new action bar toggle now inside this action bar toggle we need to pass few parameters that is absolute absolutely essential for the working of this navigation draw so first thing we need is a context so where we need to pass the activity where we want this menu to be appear appear menu to appear and next thing we need is a as it says we need draw layout so draw layout now we need to pass the toolbar and we need to create two string for open and opening and closing of the uh, draw so i'm going to create open as well as the close string here and i'm going to convert that to the string resources so let me extract this string resource and name is open click on ok and similarly let me extract the string close so when i extract this string it is automatically adding this get string method here so we don't actually need that get string method we need only the string resources so i'm going to remove that from here so that happens when you automatically extract that okay so now the error is gone okay now i need to add the li listener for this toggle now i'll need the listener for this draw so i can use draw layout now i'm gonna add the draw listener so for draw layout add draw listener and i'll pass the toggle so that is action bar toggle and i'm gonna enable the hamburger sign so to enable that hamburger sign i need to use action draw action bar draw toggle and set draw indicated and pass the boolean as a true finally i need to sync the state of the navigation draw that is open or close so action bar toggle dot sync state so this much code should be enough to display the navigation draw in your in our application but one more thing that i have left out here and that is if you notice here i have created new toolbar and i'm assigning custom toolbar to this particular activity but we already have the uh, one default toolbar assigned to this activity as well so now if i run this application it is going to give me some error that says that uh, it cannot assign the custom draw to the main activity so to you can go ahead and try running this application but i'm gonna fix that first so i'm gonna create new uh, theme here so let me copy this we need no action bar theme because we are specifying the action bar ourselves so no action bar and let me rename this to app theme dot no action bar so that i can select this and apply to my so to apply that i can go back here in the main active android manifest file and here for this main activity i can specify a theme that is app theme dot no action bar which we have just created now okay so this much code should be sufficient to run this navigation draw but we have not implemented the fragment yet we'll do that uh, first let me run this application and show you guys how it's going to look like or we will check if the codes are working properly or not so click on play or run and we'll wait okay now okay the our application is um not working so let me go here and check what happened to our application so let me go to the lock cat and see what's going on here and if i scroll up and see the error message that we got it says that the navigation view is not available or it it, it is not able to find that particular class and that is because if i use only navigation view it's not going to work okay so let me show you what's going to work i'm gonna go and drag this navigation view from here and put it somewhere after this okay uh, just before this now if you come back here you can see the tag used for the navigation view is different in the android x okay so i need to use this same tag so let me copy that and paste it here now 
if I run this application, hopefully it's going to work. So let me do that now. So I'll run this application again and we will see. Okay, 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 okay. You can see the app is working. And if I click on this, we can see that we have this menu. But if I click on this, it's not going to do anything because we have not handled that yet. We'll do that later. And also one more thing you can notice here, we have this drawer fragment, a title and this menu as a black color. So which is not really looking good here. So I'm going to change that. And to change that, we need to go back to the draw toolbar here. And in the draw toolbar, I'm going to change the theme for this toolbar. Okay, so let me change that. So I can use theme attribute here. And I will apply the overlay dot app compare dot dark. Now if I run this application, it should work. After changing the theme, you can see the drawer fragment and the menu is white now.